last uh, five years. I have done my post graduation in uh, voluntary health services, and uh, presently I am a consultant in uh, uh, Dr. Rela Institute and Medical Center. I am uh, going to start my PowerPoint. Very good. Can everyone see it? See yeah, my looks, PowerPoint. Looks great. Yeah. Uh, today, I'm going to speak about uh, computational fluid dynamics in uh, aneurysm surgery. And uh, what is computational fluid dynamics? Uh, uh, with the uh, aneurysm, is, uh, all the blood vessels are uh, taken as a tube. And uh, the aneurysm as a swollen thing in the tube. And we want to see the uh, what are the dynamics of the um, blood flow like um, how the blood is flowing, what are its effects on the wall, and how there is a chance of uh, any rupture or not. These studies have been started since long back, since last uh, 15 years, there has been extensive studies has been uh, going on. But, uh, uh, but uh, still, there are no clear consensus, like uh, why, uh, um, uh, what is the hemodynamic uh, changes and uh, whether they are coinciding with any of them. So studies are going, uh, multiple studies are going consequently. I am just describing uh, today we are uh, what are our findings in multiple cases and uh, what is the uh, model of the growth of the aneurysm. What is CFD? It is the thing where uh, aneurysm, uh, where the images are um, 3D reconstructed and uh, a computational uh, mesh sequencing is given and then uh, boundary calculations uh, has been done and computation and then visualization is done. And with that, uh, we get some uh, parameters. Uh, the uh, these uh, the most common parameters are the flow, uh, streamline, wall shear stress, and uh, velocity. The new techniques uh, why why CFD mechano uh, transduction uh, endothelial cells um, they sense the wall shear stress. It is a frictional force between uh, the blood and the vessels. Because of these wall shear stress, there will be multiple changes in the um, aneurysm. But the main drawback of the CFD is these things are taken at a single point of uh, um, uh, images. These are not continuous. Uh, continuous. Um, there are no studies with uh, continuous uh, CFDs in uh, patients. So the common variables are uh, velocity, pressure, uh, auxiliary shear index, and the uh, wall shear stress. So this um, analysis has been applied to risk analysis of the rupture of the growth mechanisms in cerebral and uh, unruptured intracranial injections. So what is wall pressure? This is the pressure exerted by the blood on the wall. And uh, there are, uh, in this multiple variables are there. That is the most common thing. What uh, many uh, studies show is uh, pressure, instantaneous uh, um, pressure, uh, which is also called as Pmax. And the Pmax was calculated as the highest area of the pressure at the aneurysmal wall, both uh, spatially and temporarily. It was color-coded. The blue is less uh, um, less pressure and the red is uh, on a higher side. This is an example of an aneurysm which has a, uh, more of a high pressure. Uh, the next parameter, what is uh, most commonly seen is the pressure difference. And it was defined as the degree of the pressure elevation uh, at the aneurysm wall at P max area by subtracting P average from the P max. In this aneurysm, this is the same aneurysm at the top uh, at the um, top of the sac. We can see the pressure variable, uh, which is significantly high. And uh, the study by Suzuki et al. They have studied this uh, P max and um, P um, P variable and concluded that the areas with the P max and the P variable has the potential to develop uh, changes in the wall and causing uh, blebs, which is most commonly because of the apopto uh, apopto uh, apopto uh, apoptosis. Coming to the next uh, mostly studied um, parameter is the wall shear stress. It is the frictional force between the arterial wall and the blood flow in the direction towards the local tangent. Multiple studies were done. There are still no clear evidence uh, about the wall shear stress. Most of the studies have been mixed with unruptured and ruptured. And while comparing the uh, unruptured aneurysms, the wall shear stress seems to be low in the ruptured aneurysms. But uh, this is, uh, there are no, uh, still, um, why the wall shear stress decreases is not clearly evident. 
so there are both the theories of low wall shear stress and high wall shear stress proposing related to the ruptured aneurysm so the next parameter is the oscillatory shear index it is the directional changes of the wall shear stress during a cycle in during a cardiac cycle the more the changes like diversion and convergence if it is greater than 90 degrees the oscillatory shear index will be more uh, seen there are reports like uh, higher oscillatory shear index associated with high pressure difference when both are there that means that there is significant vector differentiation and there is high uh, pressure this cause uh, rupture and the high uh, oscillatory index point is corresponding to the rupture point coming to the vectors this is a aneurysm two aneurysms i am showing uh with areas of um, diversification this is one area of diversification this is another aneurysm with the area of the diversification these areas uh, tend to be the area where there is significant uh, sudden change of the um, blood vectors and uh, this is the area mostly associated with uh, high pressure uh, differentiation and formation of the blebs and this is the other area with uh, vector convergence and these areas uh, where we see the blood uh, goes and uh, forms a stagnant region when the uh, this area generally corresponds to the inflammatory uh, development of uh, inflammation because once the blood is stagnant there will be endothelial um, uh, endothelial uh, expression of the nit uh, nitric oxide because of the endothelial uh, inflammation signs will develop and the atherosclerotic changes correspond accordingly coming to the next parameter is a streamlined flow it gives a clear idea about how the fl uh, blood flows in the aneurysm it gives about the development of the recirculation flow in an aneurysm and also it gives the velocity velocity of the flow it gives a pictorial um, diagram in this this is the aneurysm we can see the blood is coming in a high velocity at this region at the at the wall where it is uh, uh, development of the um, recirculation we can say there is a moderate uh, velocity has uh, is uh, on a moderate side and once you come to the opposite side once the recirculation flow continues and development of the um, complete recirculation flow near the center it is almost zero so this gives the flow patterns of the blood along the velocity comparisons so uh, meng and nital they have concluded like uh, intra aneurysmal flow aneurysmal geometry and pathobiology as uh, three different factors and uh, associated and uh, there is a um, development continuously uh, aberrant uh, hemodynamics growth repair and uh, degradation when there is uh, imbalance then there will be a degradation and uh, dis uh, destruction this is uh, the high uh, combined theory proposed by meng and nital Uh, in which uh, once there is a high wall shear stress there is uh, endothelial sensing and uh, mural cells producing uh, mmps and uh, apoptosis develop and uh, thus leading to the um, internal elastic lamina damage and uh, media thinning formation of the aneurysm develops once the aneurysm develops there are two mechanisms once the aneurysm develops the mural cells producing uh, uh, if the high wall shear stress still continues near the impinging flow so there will be matrix degeneration and uh, mural degeneration occurs and thus forming a pos uh, possible bleb at that level this is the mural cell uh, mediated pathway established by them the other theory is once the uh, once there is a development of um, aneurysm the flow um, the flow starts uh, decreasing and the speed decreases and uh, there are pro inflammatory uh, endothelial cells develop and the blood blood cells resident time increases and thus uh, inflammatory infiltrates uh, develop and uh, there will be atherosclerotic changes once the atherosclerotic changes develops there will be inflammatory infiltrates and uh, uh, due to changes in the wall uh, uh, due to changes in the hemodynamics there may be increase in the size of the aneurysm or there may be a rupture at the edges of the aneurysm uh, where the atherosclerosis is there and uh, if this these things are uh, the dynamics everything are stable it may uh, continues to be uh, hyperplastic uh, remodeling and the aneurysm wall starts becoming thick Com uh, this is the um, thing by uh, this is the article by furukawa and they have mentioned like uh, in a blob of aneurysms 
uh, aneurysm with multiple blebs they have given uh, hemodynamic characters of uh, hyperplastic remodeling and they have proposed that uh, in this aneurysm we can see the this is the impinging point at one uh, one aneurysm and uh, the other aneurysm is having a significant uh, um, low wall shear stress and uh, this is a um, review of the literature was done by moriyama et al recently published in um, neurosurgery focus they have taken all the uh, literature review of uh, castro et al uh, where the wall shear stress was the high and uh, it has a small impact uh, impact uh, zone this is the only study which uh, they have showed but their other all studies showed uh, low uh, low wall shear stress as a significant factor but um, the recent uh, studies which show that uh, uh, we have been continuing the pathological studies are going on and uh, cfd studies when done preoperatively give an idea of uh, aneurysmal wall anatomy high pressure difference along with vector diversification and high wall shear stress corresponds to the area of uh, development of a new aneurysm or uh, bleb formation once the aneurysm develops uh, uh, once the aneurysm develops and the recirculation flow develops the wall shear stress slowly decreases and uh, remodeling occurs depending on the flow in aneurysm and uh, high oscillatory index and convergence correspond to stagnation and uh, inflammatory destructive remodeling flow gives pattern in the aneurysm flow and uh, gives an idea about the recirculation flow in the aneurysm and the blebs blebs associated with the high velocity in uh, streamline and the high and the high pressure difference tend to be thin and uh, tend to be ruptured thank you for um, your patient uh, hearing thus we conclude very good thank you gratham thank you